Who said you did? Why are you acting like one? I'm reading. You're protecting me. If I choose to tell Joshua and the children that I'm alive, then it's my decision and no one else's. I couldn't agree with you more, Reva. Then why are you guarding the door? You still don't get it, do you? There's only one reason I'm here, and one reason that I will always be here. Because I love you. What do you say we dance? The music's great. Huh? Oh, no, please. Come on. Rusty. So am I. Let's do it. She more wine. You are like a pot that's ready to boil. Wait. Yes, there is steam coming out of your ears. It's not right. Oh, come on. Let it go. What's done is done. I can't let it go, Samira. The guy suspends me, and then he shows up following my lead. If there is a lead to follow, from where I sit, the only thing Patrick's doing is being nice to a very lonely woman. I asked you a simple question. I want a straight answer. I couldn't even begin to answer such well, a thing. Well, try. What do you want from my husband? Ross and I are old friends. So I have heard ad nauseum. Well, don't you have now friends? Plenty. I don't dress to kill and invite them out to dinner. I included you. Oh, margarine may melt in your mouth, but I'm on to you. My goodness. You really are threatened by me, aren't you? What on earth could have happened to you to make you so insecure? Don't... Don't tell me Ross is... He hasn't cheated on you before. Ross has never cheated on me. And I'm not being insecure. Well, good. Most men don't find insecurity very attractive. I don't imagine it would appeal to Ross at all. Oh, I ought to belt you. So answer Vanessa's question. Why are you looking for her? I should say that would be apparent. He's my son. Yeah, but you stopped looking for him after you didn't find him in Canada. And why have you started now? Look, why? I don't interfere with your personal life. Please stay out of mine. My wife asked you a question, Thorpe. Keep your hands off of me. Why don't you answer the question, Bobby? I think the answer is obvious, Ralph. He doesn't need to. You're after Peter, aren't you? You want Peter, and the only way you can get to him is through her. That's it, isn't it? What's with women in handbags, huh? They seem to carry around everything in here except for the kitchen sink. What's the deal, huh? Why are you following me? Or more to the point, who the hell are you? Marion and Patrick dancing together. That's a strange <laughs> pairing. Yeah, but then again, stranger things have happened. Yeah, really? <laughs> Name one. I thought you liked Mary. Well, Nick doesn't, that's for sure. He said that she said some really, really nasty things to Susan. It's just because Susan has a problem with her, but she doesn't understand. It. And you do. Yeah, I do. We've both been through some insane nightmares and survived. That means something. Hey, good evening. Hi, how you doing? You're looking Hi. pretty good out there. Yeah. <laughs> the music was great. Yeah. Yeah, your partner's not so bad either. Thank you. Hey, why don't you join us? I am trying to understand why you are so angry with me. Could. Could you help me out a little bit? Oh, you don't fool me for a minute. Why on earth would I want to? You walked back to town without a word to anybody, and then less than 24 hours, you're desperate for Ross's help. I am far from desperate, Blake. Ross is still the best lawyer in Springfield. That is not side the point. Well, if you're trying to make one, I keep missing it. Oh, you don't miss a thing. And neither do I. I know that you had a relationship with Ross before. I never denied that. Well, if I know your type, and I do, it only means one thing. You don't know me, and I don't know you. Yeah, well, let's keep it that way. You know, I learned something while I was away. Can I share it with you? I suppose you'd like to teach me a thing or two? When a woman begins to feel insecure about her husband's feelings for her, it opens up a Pandora's box of trouble for herself and those around her. Take my advice, Blake. Start acting like Ross loves you. 
even if you don't believe it. I believe that Ross loves me. He loves me more than life. Good. Then there's no problem, is there? Ross is my friend. I wish that you could be, too. Oh, I get it. Now you're going to go out there and you're, you're going to tell him all about this, right? I am not even going to mention that we had this conversation. I don't want to embarrass him. Well, you can say anything you'd like to Ross, because he knows me and understands me very well. You mean he'd be pleased that you acted like a jealous wife and nearly alienated a high-priced client? I don't think so. You don't remember? We met... No, wait a minute. Yes, I do remember you now. You're one of those private investigators that my husband hired to find his son, right? You have a good memory. You know, you're not the only one that he's paying to find him. Hart Jessup. Right. The precious son. I was actually looking for a Mr. Thorpe. Where is he? Well, you're the hotshot investigator. Why ask me these questions? Seemed the most direct route. I mean, don't most wives usually know where their husbands are? Well, that is, of course, unless they're having problems. <laughs> oh, come on. Even I can do better than that. How long have you been at this private investigator stuff, huh? Ten minutes? You seem to forget Peter is my family, too. You stay the hell away from Peter. I'll disregard that remark. Look, I'll tell you what. Whoever told you I'm looking for Hart is a liar, okay? Why don't you say it to my face? What, you told him? Oh, you better believe it, Raj. The truth hurts, doesn't it? There's one thing in this world that can really stick it to you. This is the last thing I need right now. Reva, I'll apologize for my timing, but not for my feelings. I don't want to have to deal with either one. I know you've had a terribly hard day. Harder than I could have ever imagined. Watching your family with their soon-to-be new wife, new mother, must hurt very deeply. Thank you for pointing that out to me in case I might have missed it. I didn't say that to say I told you so. I don't enjoy seeing you in pain, Reva. I mean, what happened to you today is beyond my... Comprehension. Well, I had to see them. They're my life. My husband, my children. It's bad enough not seeing Dylan, but then he's grown up and he doesn't need me anymore. But it's different with Mara and Shane. They're young. They went on without you the same as you went on without them. I lost my memory. That doesn't mean I should have to lose them. Do you think that... What's happening now is some kind of payback for my being so selfish? Maybe you think I was an unfit mother. No, 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 no. I don't think that. No. I think you're very capable and determined. You're the most loving woman that I've ever known, but I, I just think that you're at a crossroad, Reva. It wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to be happy, to choose happiness. I mean, for your children and for their mother and for yourself. I knew you'd pull this. Your answer to everything is that I should just ride off into the sunset with you. You've been at me about it for weeks. Look, look, I admit, nothing would make me happier than, than to spend the rest of my life with you. But I want you to be happy. I want you to be sure that you've made the right decision for Shane and Mara. Reva, look, if I could run the world, Abigail would be well. And yes, we would leave this godforsaken town and ride off in the sunset. But if that's not what you want, I'll let you go. But it won't stop me from loving you. I'm leaving. Where are you going? To the hospital to uh, see if I can help Charlotte out. Aren't you going to warn me? About? About running into Annie. Well, if you uh, are hurt, I'll be here to pick up the pieces. That's really all I have to say about it. <gasps> Annie! 
Mary's off duty tonight, isn't she? That too? Mm -hmm. You're a piece of work, Alan Spaulding. So are you, Reva Shane. Hi. Just checking in. Is everything okay? Dr. Bauer. Yes. My daughter is feeling much better now. Great. That's the news I wanted to hear. Thank you for your concern. What'd she say? Abigail. Not so bold. Well, if she's complaining about the food, she's right. It's horrible. <laughs> no. Uh, she is saying she wants you to be her doctor. Oh. Um, that's very flattering, but I can't be. Can't be. What, what, what is she saying now? She says she knows you can help her. Um, how, is this how you say thank you? Thank you? I... Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> What's she laughing at? Oh, it's the way you sign, but she understands. Good. Prison. She's asking you again. She says oh. she knows you could... Abigail, <clears throat> you need another doctor or specialist. Uh, she's confused. Why don't we do this? Um, I'll talk and you translate, okay? I, I, I only know two words, and it's like hello and thank you, and I, I'm probably doing both wrong. I wouldn't know. Abigail and I have our, our, our own sign language. No, you, you, you communicate very well. Well... We made it up as we went along. Our needs in Goshen are very simple. We make do. Abigail, I'm very happy to see you smiling again. Um, Mrs. Bloom, can you tell her that um, she's going to need another doctor who knows more about her condition than I do? Uh, I'll be happy to check in. If either one of you have any questions, I'll be working a late shift tonight and you can ask me, okay? What is it? What's wrong? Oh, nothing. She just wants some uh, juice and crackers. Uh, there's a machine right down the corner. Um, you can grab it there if you'd like. Well, uh, I, I... I can stay here. It's okay. Oh, thank you. All right. I'll be right back. Um, you're gonna need some quarters. Here. Oh. I'm very much obliged to you. You're welcome. <clears throat> Hi. Um, hi and thank you. Is that, is that right? That's not right. It's a short conversation. <laughs> I have no idea what that means, but it's beautiful. Can, can I do a sign? Can I do a sign? My turn. Okay. <clears throat> um, uh, the food here. Thanks, doesn't it? <laughs> no? You like the food here? Um. Oh, this. This is, uh, uh blood pressure. Um, it, it measures how fast the uh, blood rushes to the heart. Um, and this is an, an IV machine. This isn't working. This isn't working. What'd I say? Abigail, what'd I say? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I wish I knew what I was doing. Whoops. I gotta call in. Would you uh, take care of Marion for me? I'll be right back. Uh, sure. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah go on. Seems like he's taking good care of you. Yes, he's very sweet. Mm, handsome, too. I still can't believe he asked me out. <laughs> enough about me. How are you? I'm so happy I can't stand it. Wow, that's very nice to hear. Especially with a, another HIV test hanging over your head. Have you heard anything? Uh, no, I haven't. Not yet. Well, I certainly hope that it's negative. I can't imagine a computer making such a terrible mistake. You know, the computer or something else. Well, you don't really think someone broke into the computer system and changed the results, do you? Well, I don't know. But if it is true, I'm going to find out who that someone is. 
And I'll tell you something else when I do. They're going to wish they were dead. You're pretty full of yourself for a freeloader. Yeah. Old man, you better watch it. I pay my own way and I'll tell you exactly how I feel about you. What a rude young man. He's not rude. And he's a friend of mine. Well, then... Don't say it, Mother, please. I am so sorry to ruin your plans, Roger, but you know somebody had to do it. Well, if I did have plans, there'd be precious little you could do about it. Wrong again, Roger Dodge. Don't you see? It's out in the open now. All you want to do is get your mitt on your grandson, and the only legal shot you have is through your son. Let's be clear about this. The only thing I want to do with Peter is to love him. As for that other matter, all right, I admit it. I am looking for my son, okay? But not for the reason you think. Well, don't stop there, Roger. We're all ears. All right. Well, I've only been married to Dinah for a short time, but it's been long enough to see firsthand what your lack of parental love and guidance has done to her. Please, you don't have to tell us anything about loving our daughter. You have both failed miserably as parents, and you know it. Dinah's the living proof. I just want to make sure I don't do that to my children. What are you talking about? Blake doesn't want anything to do with you. Yeah, well, she'll get over that, and you know why? Because she knows that I have loved her unconditionally all of her life. Yeah, well, you didn't love your son, did you? Because he left, gets as far away from you as he could. He doesn't want anything to do with you. Otherwise, he would have let you know where he is. Well, that's because you all turned him against me. But when I find him, he's going to learn the truth. And what's that, Rocky? That I have loved him unconditionally ever since I knew I had a son. Unlike some parents who only love their children when they follow orders. You're so full of it, Roger. Dinah is a mass of insecurities because of these two, right? You're a liar and a coward. Oh? She's insecure because of what you have done to her. You're the one that tricked her into making the biggest mistake of her life. You're the one that made her scared when she was never scared before. And I'm promising you this. If you even come close to hurting her like that again, I take swear to take, God. Take, take it take easy, bro. Take it easy. The only thing I want to take is him. I just calm down and you don't have a job. A job? Forget it, then. Take your job. I quit. Ah, uh, bad move, Marcus. I'm going to take you apart. And you control your health, huh? You and me, outside, now. Knock it off, Marcus. Look, look why don't you do take it. your buddy somewhere away from Thorpe before it makes it worse, OK? I'm going to make you so sorry you hurt my friend, man. Look, do you have a death wish or something? If you keep this up, employee or not, I'm gonna have to teach you a lesson myself. What are you, death? I don't work for you anymore. I quit. Fine. <laughs> if uh, you want to be a fool, um, I can't stop you. And let, let me just talk to him. Oh, no, he's all yours. Okay. Max, why don't you pack Marcus's stuff up and get this, just get, he's gonna be getting out of here, okay? Sure. Look, can we give you a ride home, or, or...? Marcus, thanks for sticking up for our daughter. We appreciate it. I'd do it again. And I will when I get the chance. Hold on, okay? Just cool it until... at least until Thorpe was gone. new client who's gorgeous oh so what i'm sure she'll understand oh no she won't she'll use it against me she's gonna make ross see how wrong i am for him wait 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 what that's crazy you and ross are perfect for each other and aside from me and frank you have the best marriage i know <laughs> thanks a lot lady but you don't even like me i can't believe i let her get to me like this i mean i'm this insecure wreck i look like this is ostrich or something and i've got, I've got to go out there and i've got to Sit next to the siren. Like, it's perfect. And stop, then it's like, look at my top. Come here. Come here. Sit down. Oh. Come on. Sit down. And we will have you fixed up and looking like new before the band starts the next set.
Okay. Actually, I'm new on the case. Another guy from my agency was assigned to it, and then they assigned me. Yeah, I knew it. So tell me, why is Thorpe so interested in finding his son? Who cares? Well, evidently he must. Enough to hire an army of PIs to try and track him down. It's his money. He can blow it any way he wants. You know, maybe it's me. I, I get this feeling that you aren't too crazy about the idea of trying to find your stepson. No, I'm not. As far as I'm concerned, Hart Jessup is nothing but a big pain in the neck. And I'm really sick of hearing about him, okay? What's he ever done to you? No, it's what he's doing now. He's wrecking my whole life. How can you wreck your life if he's not around? Roger and I have been married for a month. That's it, a month. And he has not stopped yapping about his son. Heart this, heart that. Why am I doing this? What, smoking a cigarette? No, why am I talking to you like this? Why aren't you asking my husband these questions, huh? Because he's not as pretty as you are. It's dark. How can you tell I'm pretty? The light in your eyes. Well, I'm a married woman. You're still pretty. And I don't fool around. Neither do I. Push this, this happens. Push this, that happens. Here. Give it a try. No, no, I'm sorry. I just want to show you how this works. I want watch this. Push this. This happens. <laughs> it's not going to eat you, okay? It's, it's okay. Um, watch this. Push this. This happens. This is great. This should be in everybody's bedroom. See? Go ahead. Give it a, give it a try. Go ahead. Uh... Close, but no cigar. TV. TV, right. Oh, you want to know how the TV works? Um, uh, uh, somebody somewhere is taking a picture of somebody, right? And then that signal travels to the air and it goes right on the screen. Me? You want to know about me? Oh, my stethoscope. You know how the stethoscope works. Um, okay, you go. What is it? Time. Uh, you test. You want to know if I'm going to be doing the test tomorrow? Um, no, I'm not. Dr. Wicker's going to be doing the test tomorrow. Abigail, Abigail, if, if it'll mean anything to you, I'll, I'll come by and, and see how everything is going. I've got the crackers. Dr. Rick Bauer to the nurse's station. Dr. Rick Bauer. Uh, Abigail, I, I have to go, okay? Somebody's, somebody's calling me, okay? If uh, you need anything... Well, Dr. Rick Bauer, please report to the nurse's station. Stat. Okay. You press this button, and then I'll, uh, a nurse will come, okay? All right? See you later. Bye-bye. love me. How do you know when it happens? That's a good question. I said I wasn't going to pressure you. Well, I have to act like I meant it. I won't push you into anything. At least not head on. Sideways? Well, now that's another story.
it to you, Eva. And I'm going to prove it. Hey, don't worry about Roger. We'll take care of him. I wish I felt as confident as you do. Now, would your husband lie to you? I don't know. Would he? Do you know what I'd like to do right now? All these people around? What people? I don't know. They just disappeared. They all just disappeared the same way they all did the first time you kissed me in public. Well, I never really noticed because my attention was on you. You made me forget my own name. You've got a new one now. <laughs> She was in the ladies' room. About dessert. Ah, uh, yes. Go ahead and order, would you? Chocolate souffle, sound good to you? Yes. Yes, excuse me. Oh, honey. Honey. Where have you been? I was in the powder room. Did something happen in there between you and Amanda? Oh, Amanda is not the problem. I'm the problem, Ross. Look upset. I don't. I just don't even ask, okay? I don't have to. I know you. You were still upset about that negative pregnancy test about two weeks ago. You're going to have to face it. You're not pregnant. But neither am I. We're going to have to be patient, that's all. Well, that's what we said last month and the month before that. What is wrong with me? Probably nothing. I and mean, maybe it's me. And to make us both happy, I'm going to have every test done known to man, all right? You must absolutely be allowed to be on pins and needles. Well, I'm trying not to think about it. Well, when will you get the results? Uh, the counselor said that the lab results should be in late tonight, so tomorrow we should know by the very latest. Oh, well, here comes the law. I'll leave uh, you to it. Look, I'm sorry to keep you waiting. We just had a problem down at headquarters. I don't want to bore you with it. Oh, oh you could never be a bore. <laughs> well, that's uh, open to debate. <laughs> Marion doesn't think so. Well, I've had my eye on that table right She's down over gone. there. Patrick, Marion, you'll excuse us. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you later. <clears throat> Listen, I hope I didn't, uh... You didn't feel abandoned or anything, Mary. No, no, no. You don't need to worry about that. Lucy and Alan Michael are wonderful company, but, you know, it's going to be that time and I need to go home early. And I promised you would. Pam! Uh, just the man I want to see. Oh, what? Yeah? Uh, well, I got this gift certificate here, and I thought, uh... Look, look don't worry about that. I, somebody just cleaned out our cash register. I need your help. What? Yeah. Okay, uh, put somebody on the door. Don't let anybody out. Cool. Well, I, I have to go. Uh, except for her. She's with me. All right. All right, thank you. I'm sorry, Mary. No, don't worry about me. Look, I'll have the doorman call you a cab, okay? Thank you very much. Great. Thanks, Ham. Thank you, man. this. Listen, Marcus, I know Hans very well. I was married to him, and I will bet my life if you just apologize, he'd be glad to give you your job back. What part do you not understand? I meant what I said, all right? I quit. Marcus, I hear you, okay? It's just that Hamp is running a business, and he can't afford to have his employees go off on his customers. That's all. Love. Love is... a feeling you have for someone that doesn't quit. It grows. Sometimes quickly, and sometimes over a long period of time. Ha, <laughs> 
<laughs> Rebecca, what are you doing here? I to give you a break. Oh, you are so kind. But I'm doing very well. I even found food. You put coins into a big machine <laughs> and it feeds you. <laughs> It is amazing. Well, you are amazing. You must be exhausted. It is you who looks tired. You must get some sleep. I want to stay here. Oh, there is only one cot. The nurse said they had a cot on wheels they bring in, and it opens up. No. And I can sleep on that. I will be very comfortable. No, I, I, then that will give me the whole floor all to myself. Abigail is just as concerned about you as I am. She wants you to mm -hmm. sleep in the bed and she will sleep on the floor. We can't have that. Then go. <laughs> you sleep in the house Mr. Spaulding so kindly arranged for us. Such a generous offer. Shoot. Abigail and I will be fine. Okay. But Rebecca, you be careful for going back to the house. Nothing bad's going to happen in a hospital. What do I need to do to get you to put this test up next? You could hit me with dinner and dancing, and I still couldn't do it. There are others before yours. Come on. No, married or not, you are one interesting subject. Well, thank you. I think. Whatever your name is. What is it, by the way? Diana! Diana, are you out here? Roger? Roger! Oh, I tell you, I was worried out of my mind about you. How did you find me? The doorman at the Towers Club. He, he told me that you'd run in here, what, an hour ago? It's dangerous out here. This, uh, what are you doing out here at this hour? Well, don't worry, I had company. And you even paid for it. What are you talking about? Him. You better be able to back yourself Look, would up. you take it easy, please? He might be a hot head, but he's not a thief. You know what I'm saying? Don't expect me to thank you for that. Place for everything and everything in its place, including number 11937, alias Lucy Cooper, alive and well on paper right here in my hand. <laughs> no. How convenient. Why didn't I think of this before? that everything is right here under my nose. Dr. Bauer, there's a patient that needs to see you. See, you and Lucy Cooper, you're gonna trade places. <laughs> it's too easy. 